What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel, and welcome back to Competitive Decks. That's right, we are covering yet another Pokemon and how to use it competitively in singles. And so if you guys are excited to learn how to use Pincurchin, make sure to let me know by leaving a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe if you are new, and make sure to comment down below letting me know what you would like to see next. We are getting very close to the DLC at this point, and so there's not that much left as far as the new Pokemon to cover on the channel. And so we'll be getting in some new stuff then, and it's gonna be great. It's gonna it's gonna be awesome. So Pincurchin though. Pincurchin is a very interesting Pokemon, right? When we first saw its design, I assumed that it was just gonna be electric Pukumuku, because that's just what it looks like. But actually it's quite different. Um, it, it does a lot of different things actually. So let's go ahead and take a look at its stats here, right? Really low HP at 48, so that's not great. 101 attack is pretty respectable, actually. 101 is not bad. 95 defense, not too bad. 91 special attack, I've seen lower. And special defense at 85, I I've seen lower. So I mean, really, that's not too terrible. Um, I really wish it had a little bit higher HP, but that's just me. And then base 15 speed, this thing's really, really slow. But that makes sense, right? It's just a little, just a little sea urchin, right? It's it's a cute boy, I like his design. But the big thing that sets this thing apart from anything else is Electric Surge. This is the only Pokemon right now that can use Electric Surge, that can set up Electric Terrain by switching in. Now, this is way more important to singles now that Dynamax is banned, and I say that like it happened recently, that's a long time ago, but when Dynamax was still around in singles, the only way to set up electric terrain was with max lightning. Now you have Pincurchin to switch in. So that's just something to consider. It also has lightning rod, which is not a terrible ability at all. Um, it raises your attack by, by one stage if you're hit with an electric type move. So with the correct predictions, it could be okay. But I feel like that's a little bit more useful in doubles. Then again, both of these abilities are pretty good in doubles. So, you know, Pincurchin has, has a small place, right? And the move sets that this thing can run, this thing actually has a really good move pool, to be honest. It has Curse, which is great for a slow bulky Mon because you don't care about the minus one speed at all. It's got Discharge that helps with Paralysis. You've got Facade based on a 101 attack. I'll take that. Hex is not bad at all. Hydro Pump, probably not gonna use that. Liquidation, that can work. Memento is a fantastic support move, allowing you to really cripple something so you can go into something really strong. We'll definitely be using that. Poison Jab, Recover, uh, Scald. The, I mean, these are really good moves. It gets priority Sucker Punch with one base 101. Surf, Throat Chop, Thunder, Thunder Wave to slow stuff down. Zing Zap, Trick Room is what I'm thinking with that. So yeah, this thing's got some options for sure. And so I really wanted to explore this mod because it really has a lot of interesting things it can do. So the first set here is gonna be a very standard lead set. So you just lead with this, it gets up hazards and you're good, right? So Toxic Spikes is fantastic. Not very many Pokemon get it. And this is a great user of it. It allows you to poison anything that's grounded and not immune to poison typing. It allows it to be poisoned, regular poison with one spike and badly poisoned with two. This allows you to really start wearing down teams if they don't get a defog or a spin off. So just something to consider. Spikes, same thing. It does ground type damage and it is based on weakness to ground. Then we have Memento and Discharge. Memento is there for when you are about to die and you want to switch into another threat on your team possibly a Halucha, I would think, uh, that has the electric seed, which activates its unburden. And then you can go into it, set up a swords dance, and you're gonna be kind of terrifying. I'm just saying, it's it's a great partner with this mod. But yeah, so this is a pretty standard set, I would say. Physically defensive is the way to go on this bulky set. And I like Air Balloon, because that allows you to be immune to ground type attacks at the beginning of the match. Now, you could also run a Shooka Berry, and that would, that would want, make your opponent want to hit you with a ground type attack and then you take half damage the first time. But I prefer Air Balloon personally because ground is its only weakness. And so this makes your opponent have to go for something that's not super effective on you first and then 
then they can hit you with something else. So I like Air Balloon, but that's just me. Next, we're gonna look at a physically defensive set that does something a little bit different. We've got Scald and Recover. So Scald allows you to burn your opponent and then you can recover up. So burn obviously will make your opponent have half its attack, which is fantastic. And this allows you to hit things like steel types that are immune to toxic spikes. Things such as Excadrill, which is a very common switch into this. You click Scald on the switch in and burn it, and that thing is going to be very much neutered. So definitely consider running Scald. It is a great addition to this thing's kit, allowing it to deal with those ground types, those steel types, anything like that. And then you can just recover off damage as the burn uh, starts to wear down your opponent. And same thing with Toxic Spikes, you can recover up and and just survive for forever. It's really interesting though, Pincurchin, just how well is spread status, right? So you've got Toxic Spikes for Poison, you've got Burn with Scald, and you've got Paralysis with Discharge. So, you know, just pick whichever one you want and you can do up to three statuses with this mod. It's pretty crazy. So next is going to be a little bit of uh, a little bit similar to that but this is with a terrain extender now terrain extender is able to make the terrain last for eight turns rather than five think like damp rock with weather and so this you set up spikes and you have discharge which is boosted by the terrain scald and memento i like this combination right here and this is actually an offensive set on the special side i really like this because that discharge in, in the terrain is gonna be doing an amazing amount of damage. And also, electric terrain prevents sleep, which is something really interesting. This cannot be put to sleep. I like it, I think it's good. It, it really helps to oppose uh, things like Butterfree that would go for a sleep powder, for Venusaur, things like that. It allows you to not have to really worry about that very much. So yeah, that's that set. So now we get into some weird territory here, right? Choice, banded, Pincurchin. I know that sounds weird. I know that sounds really weird, but I'm telling you, a base 101 attack is not bad. And in Trick Room, come on. If you have Trick Room up and you've got a zero IV at 15 speed, tell me what's under speeding base 31 that's fully evolved. I mean, come on. Base 15 speed is ridiculous. And so under Trick Room, this thing would be terrifying. Plus, it gets Sucker Punch for the priority, so this thing can be a revenge killer. Think about that. Revenge killing Pincurchin, that's ridiculous, and I love it. It's so good. Zing Zap has the chance to flinch as long as you're faster. You can lower the defense by one stage with this, and you can spread poison with Poison Jab. It's fantastic. You could also go for something like Self Destruct here, or Throat Chop if you wanted a stronger Dark type move that doesn't have priority. But I think Poison Jab is pretty good just to be able to cover a little bit more as far as typings go. But yeah, I, I think this is hilarious. I think this this was my definitely my second place for the meme this week. And I might just end up using one of these in the future because this just seems hilarious, honestly. All right, next is gonna be Curse. Now Curse, I think is actually pretty viable to be honest, just because this thing is so bulky. And so we gave it max HP, max attack, and we're gonna be cursing up. So lowering our speed, which who cares, and raising both our attack and our physical defense. So this thing is gonna become an absolute tank on the physical side, which is absolutely amazing. And then we carry the Zing Zap, the liquidation, and the sucker punch. I mean, once you get some boosts up, and you start going for Sucker Punch, I mean, stuff's gonna start dropping. You don't need a Choice Band once you've got a couple curses up. You don't need any of that other stuff. I mean, this this is fantastic. I think this is such a cool set. All right, so our meme, you're not ready for this. Acupressure, recover. That's right. So Acupressure is a move that is typically relegated to just complete memes, right? And so what it is is you can go for either yourself or an ally in doubles. But so obviously in this one, we're going for ourself and it raises a random stat by two stages. So this is completely luck based. So the whole idea of this set is that you come in and you click Acupressure and you start boosting a bunch of your stats up, hopefully your defensive stats and then you can click recover and just recover everything off. 
You can set up toxic spikes in order to wear down your opponent and scald to burn things that you can't toxic. And then just keep on acupressuring until you're just completely immortal. That's the idea. So very luck based, but very much a meme. And I absolutely love it. I think it's so funny. I think it's fantastic. So go out and beat people with an acupressure pin curtain. That's my goal. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's live stream. We had a lot of fun with Five Nights at Freddy's sister location, talking some lore and all that good stuff. We will, of course, have another live stream this coming Sunday on FNAF 6. So make sure that you do not miss that. So without any further ado, I guess that's going to be it for today. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you're staying safe out there. Until next time, bye bye. <laughs>